We have Asuka being asked what she expects in Alexa's playground. Asuka says, and I quote, I don't know, and then she left. We got a WrestleMania, or the Triple H Stephanie WrestleMania commercial. And then Alexa Bliss, a grown woman, comes to the ring and starts swinging on her swing set. Well, she's playing a 12-year-old girl, or 11-year-old, or whatever it's supposed to be. She's been playing this role for, for, for a month or two. She says, last week she was just coming out to talk to Randy and things got a little heated. Make some stupid fire jokes. Asuka comes out, but Alexa will not let her sit on the swing because sitting on the swing is the invisible fiend. Yep. So the invisible fiend was there. Alexa is swinging on a swing set, talking to the invisible fiend. Asuka doesn't know what's going on, so she just says, hit my music, she'll start dancing. This makes Alexa very angry. She begins crying and talking to the fiend. Asuka tells her it'll be okay. Alexa freaks out again. The rocking chair, there's a rocking horse that well, starts well, to move well, by itself. Well, well As Asuka said the fiend is still around, and then she freaked out because no one's allowed to say the word the fiend, apparently, except for Alexa Bliss. So that was the problem. If this sounds bad, everybody listening to this... It was actually worse. Go watch it. It was actually worse. This yeah. was the first time I thought, this is 2000 World but, Championship And also, wrestling. also, also, Asuka's like... Okay, Asuka really wasn't freaking out, but the announcers kept telling us that she was. Dude, so, there's so much stuff with these announcers where they have no idea what's going on. There was another one that we're going to get to here in a second. So Jeff Hardy is facing Jackson Riker in the third hour of this show. Riker works him over. Jeff goes up top. Elias knocks him off for the disqualification. How can you stick around after this? Riker is upset at Elias. They're yelling at each other. What? You you, you think that people aren't going to stick around to see Asuka and Alexa Bliss in a spooky match? Dude. Well, that is the main event, everybody. And this is what happened. At the beginning, everything is fine. They wrestled for a while, chain wrestling, and then the lights go out, and we go to commercial. During the break, Alexa she changed, changed her clothes and her makeup. And her hair. And her hair. And we come back, and she's standing there in a new outfit, and Asuka now has to be scared. Asuka's, is, this, this just killed Asuka dead. The announcers are... They have hushed tones. They're whispering she like is, we're at a golf tournament. She has been transformed. What is going on here? <laughs> All 100 pounds of Alexa Bliss, now unstoppable. She won't sell anything. Everything Alexa hits, she just gets right back up again. And finally, Oscar gets her with a series of kicks. Alexa just grabs her, hits her sister Abigail, gets the pin. This time, boom, like magic, she just transforms back into the other Alexa Bliss. And she smiles, and since they love her, that we get an hour shot of her as the show goes off the air. Dude, I, I, I guess she's going to get a championship match. Never wanted fans back in buildings more, because that's the only way to get rid of this magic. We need actual fans in the building where you can't just turn the thing off and do magic tricks. Well, we're going to have fans in the building in at WrestleMania. I'm so. counting down the days. Yeah, this is good. the worst. Just this was, the this bottom was, of the barrel. This was this was a this was a this was a really bad show. I mean, I don't know how anyone. It's, you know, the Miz the Miz segment I think was the worst, but the finish of the show was really bad too. Um, Randy Orton had a great delivery for his promo, but it Drew went Mac ten minutes, dude. I know, I know, but it, it was he had a great delivery. Drew McIntyre was was there was nothing wrong with Drew McIntyre. The AJ Ricochet match was good, and. I don't think anything else was good on the whole show. I would agree with all of that. I thought the main event segment was just horrible. Terrible, terrible. I mean, the mid terrible stuff in so many ways because it 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 it, it made it made like what a novel thing. It made the babyface world champion look like a complete geek. I mean, she might as well have been Seth Rollins at this point. That's how bad it was. I mean that that was like you know I mean it was like career, you know career killing and I should say killing which by the way tells you that they learned absolutely nothing from when Seth Rollins cried in the corner and then everybody turned on him and then they had to come up with some excuse about how it was the fans' fault and not their fault for booking an angle where Seth is crying about the fiend. 
Yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.